what's happening here is the culmination of an awful lot of hard work really. 33 teams representing 22 nations who've battled through to get to the world finals after winning through their own regional finals and their own national competitions as well. And it's a project that encompasses, I think, everything that Formula One can provide and can demand of a person without spending hundreds of millions of pounds, of course. Teamwork is absolutely essential for the teams that have between three and six members, uh, ideas, innovation, marketing and sponsorship budgets that have to be raised. They use CFD, uh, they use CAM and they use CAD software as well to design a car out of balsa wood. Then they try and put in little uh, go faster bits onto the car as well, which may or may not work. It might result in a bit of damage. And if it does, that, that loses them points. Our team synergy is a collaboration between Germany, where he's from, and Dubai. And basically my role in the team, we're both team managers. He's team manager from Germany, I'm from Dubai. And I'm also design engineer and he's a manufacturing engineer. We are team Blackbird X from the Indian High School Dubai UAE. Five years ago was when Formula One in schools was first introduced to UAE. So they came to our school, there were the five of us sitting in the same row and we were like, okay, let's do this. It sounds interesting, so let's do this. There are like two types of races. One is a time trial race. You get a CO2 cartridge right down here. And then there's this starting um, block thing, and it punches a hole in the cartridge, and the CO2 is uh, blowing out and pushing the car forward. Um, the car is automatically started by the software once the light goes off. Now the second one is the reaction time racing. There you've got basically the same process, however the car is started not automatically by the software, but by your reaction time. The expected part that we had was the weight, the increase in weight by about four to five, four to five grams that, that let us down in the time trial. What we're planning on doing now is what is done, it's already been done, we can't do anything about that now. We have a verbal presentation, a scrutinary session and a pit display judging and we're going to focus full on that and gather as much as possible. This project is extremely cool because it's very extensive. Not only like mechanical engineering, you can do like aerodynamics, you can use electromagnetic principles, you can almost use every area of engineering to do something cool with your car. So it's a really extensive thing, and that's what I really, really like about F1 in schools.